Hi there guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video. You join me in front of a Mark 8 Golf R, my Mark 7 Golf R. We're gonna do a little bit of a back-to-back, -back, a little bit of a kind of versus, I suppose, in some ways. See just kind of the specs of them, go for a bit of a drive in them and go for a bit of a walk around. So yeah, let's do this. Let's start with that one. It's a really, really special spec, I have to say. Really, really good. And I'm gonna tell you why. If you check here, you can see car has 19 inch alloy wheels which is part of the performance pack but actually yeah no performance pack so a little bit more subtle kind of the way that I kind of like a Golf R. A Krapovic exhaust looks unbelievable absolutely unbelievable apologies for any noise in the background just cars sort of maneuvering and stuff pan roof um, kind of obligatory only a couple of colors in the Mark 8 Golf R actually you only get them in black white and blue, Laf is blue. Brakes as well, um, 357 millimeter discs, two piston calipers, I think it's one pistons on the rear. Absolutely amazing. And actually, if I just turn around briefly to my Mark 7 Golf R, my 2017, um, it's got, I think it's 340 mil discs. I mean, I'm needing to change these at some point. I'd love to fit Mark 8 Golf R brakes to it. Um, drill discs, or actually, are they drilled disc or they're kind of like yeah they're drilled <laughs> but it's proper proper nice um you get sort of like um, this owner's kindly cleaned the car really really well i unfortunately on mine <laughs> have not um yeah lights look amazing you get that blue strip all the way across uh you know i've driven this car a couple of times and I, i've absolutely loved it on the channel and um i've also driven a white one of the performance pack so i've kind of gone through it all um, this car also has dynamic chassis control, um, head-up display, it's pretty much got everything. <laughs> um, the Akrapovic exhaust sounds great, considering this is a 2021 car, um, it sounds amazing. And yeah, nice Sunday morning to kind of enjoy it. But let's just quickly just check over my car while we're here. So mine just a Mark 7 Golf R, three-door manual. Um, I'll put up some pictures where it looks a little bit cleaner actually, because it's not quite clean at the moment. Um, yeah, not really too much. <laughs> else to say pretty simple um this is a pre-opf car so it sounds okay um you get the four exhausts as well at the back <laughs> same as the mark 8 golf r sort of like uh yeah younger brother now i guess but um yeah let's check out a little bit of the inside as well just while we're here i think you're probably more interested in the mark 8 golf r to be honest with you um silver sort of door mirrors there's a lot of similarities actually between the mark 7 and the mark 8 um inside I just love it. You can get leather in here, but this only just got the standard cloth seats. These seats are brilliant. I have to say, I love the ones in my Mark 7 Golf R, but <laughs> you know, this, this just enables you to sit really, really low, really hugs you in well. And I think the leather ones are actually the same. It's just obviously just a little bit more leather. This is sort of partial. Um, steering wheel is really, really nice. It's, as I've mentioned before, you get that sort of like um, six and three kind of feel. Um, longer paddles as well, R button, <laughs> um, DSG only in these, no manual, you can get manual in the States, but not in, yeah, not in the UK, where I'm from, usual VW kind of new infotainment system, nice mirror, there's your little <laughs> smaller gear stick compared to the other ones, and you get the really nice pano roof, which is perfect on kind of like a day like today, absolutely amazing, nice sort of touching materials, VW kind of, yeah, you know, you know what you're going to get really with a Golf. <laughs> um, it's just a really, really nice place to be. But let's briefly walk around and check out my car. Inside mine, pretty straightforward. Mark 7 2017 car. So mine's not a facelift, mine, which is 7.5. So you get sort of like the older dash, if that makes sense. I like it though, you get the nice wheel. Seats are really supportive as well. And this is in three door. I mentioned you can get this in five door, three door, manual, six speed manual, or six speed DSG for this one. Seven speed DSGs and 7.5. And yeah, that's the configuration. You're kind of stuck with, well, I say stuck with, five door DSG. That's pretty much all you can get. My car's on the 18 inch wheels. You can get 19 inch Victorias. You can also get DCC. You can also get a pan roof, none of which my car has. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's just a nice place to be. Really nice touch and feely type place. You know, really, really well built. I've done about 40,000 miles actually of mine. You can probably see, should say there, 
37 and a half thousand miles and it's as good as gold you know it's lasted me <laughs> nearly five years i've kind of owned it and it's a brilliant car you know you might know it from when i started the channel and yeah <laughs> here we are today but i think what's probably best while we're here should we go for a drive in the mark 8 golf r and check it out on some really cool roads um i think that seems like a good idea so let's take this out for a drive actually to be fair just before we go let's pop the bonnet because i think that's quite cool to see let's go through now loads of cost cutting unfortunately from vw meant that they actually they got rid of the gas strut but this owner has sort of retrofitted it it's nice and easy mine has it and yeah it's fine EA AAA engine this is the mo the best engine ever in my mind it's just so so good um 315 horsepower but realistically people have dynoed these it's sort of like 340 horsepower it's a quick quick car mine has 300 horsepower 280 pound foot of torque same EA AAA engine but this is just like I think it's called Evo 4 or Evo 5 and mine's the generation before um, but these are in like everything. They're, these are in McCann's, they're in Golf R's, they're in Audi S3's, they're in Cupra's. Yeah, there's <laughs> not much it's not in. But I think the best application for it is the Golf R. Really, really nice. See if we can see the turbo back there. See if I know what I'm looking for. But yeah, really, really cool. Really, really nice car. Um, as you can see, here's the manual strut for what, um, <laughs> what you get before. Um, but yeah, let's, um, let's take this for a drive. Sun's good traffic's low so yeah let's go for a drive in this let's check it out <laughs> oh it's such a special place i just love it um just to say to the viewers this is um this hasn't got performance pack so you don't get the nurburgring mode but because it's got dcc you can configure it basically in the, in the individual settings anyway um and actually dcc is what really makes the nurburgring setting comes alive kind of thing <laughs> bit of music um sport race an individual um pretty cool um i think sport and we'll just basically go for a little drive and yeah have some fun but yeah just such a special place to be golf 8r is such a special car you're gonna see me going crazily slow because there's some huge potholes um this car is just brilliant apologies for the sun on our faces um i've got the owner here um <laughs> thanks so much to the owner reaching out and it's a big part of the channel actually if you do want to help support it if you do want to see more content subscribe um and yeah reach out to me um contact information in the description and like the video it just helps me to create more content that's basically that's simply it there's nothing else to it i've got a heads up display in front of me which i'm not going to be able to show you just yet but i will show you separately off screen um making sure everything's all okay <laughs> there's a tesla which is not <laughs> i mean everything's going electric isn't it everything's going electric but just comparing this to the my mark 7 golf obviously driving up here but let's go race mode because it's that kind of car it's a very easy car to drive past it's so so easy and so so comfortable there's no way like a hot hatch should be this comfortable and that's kind of like the gold far way in my kind of mind um yeah pretty pretty straightforward but in terms of like speed you know i always think with cars it's like the sense of speed that it gives you and these cars can kind of really hide it um granted if you're really really on it it doesn't even feel like you're going that fast <laughs> One thing that always stands out to me is how comfortable these cars are. For a 300 brake horsepower, 315 brake horsepower hot hatch, it's super comfortable. In fact, I would say this car on 19s is straight away more comfortable than the 18s on my Mark 7. That's just what I feel, to be honest with you. Um, it feels super, super, super comfortable, and we're going to get a bit of braking action, which I actually think is one of the highlights of. Um, car actually something that a lot of people don't talk about brakes are really really good sorry for any wind noise or 
it's probably too easy to drive. <laughs> so pan roof shut, so hopefully you can hear me a little bit better <laughs> if you couldn't before. Um, very, very effortless to drive and very, very nice to drive. I mean, I've got to say, for 40 to 45,000 pounds, it's a lot of money, but then that's what cars are kind of costing these days. My Mark 7 Golf R used and cars of that kind of nature can be had for around 15 to sort of 20 grand. And then if you want the facelift, it's sort of 20 to maybe 30,000. So you're saving a lot by going for the Mark 7s. But obviously if you can do it, you know, why wouldn't you? You know, just just get stuck in. Um, the new infotainment, the dash and everything, it's all that more futuristic nature. It's got seven gears as well as opposed to my six-speed manual and as yeah. But the DSG is actually very similar to the 7.5, the 7 speed. They haven't really changed too much. Um, yeah, it's it's proper easy, as you can see on that short, sort of like dual carriageway kind of blast. But if we come to a little bit more slower sections, this is where, yeah, I think the car is proper special. I've never really tried out those brakes, so let's try out the brakes a little bit. <laughs> As you can tell from the odour, probably thinking, what is this guy doing? Uh, it's, the brakes are good. The brakes are good. I mean, it's probably... Take it all the way into the lower gear. <laughs> I mean... And this is what me and the owner have kind of mentioned before. Actually driving at slow speeds, it can sound really, really good. Your crap of it sounds better. So you, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear it on um, on my camera, but it sounds good. Fully, fully that way. That's that's all I can say. And I'm quite familiar with this area because I used to play 11 a side football around here. But I also know the road surface is crap, and I do not want to hurt this this owner's car at all. But, tunnel. <laughs> oh man, I just... It's something else. It's, it's like, it certainly makes more pops and bangs than, um, than my Mark 7. <laughs> The steering gets a lot heavier, that's a good point. <laughs> it's as you as we pass a fuel station, you know how expensive fuel is getting with obviously everything going on in the world. Um, have a car that you can actually enjoy, <laughs> you know, use the fuel. Up. Oh my god, that was pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but one thing that no reviewer can tell you, and I wouldn't really class myself as a reviewer, I'm just a guy who enjoys his cars. How a car makes you feel, does it make you smile? And it, it does. And will it upset your other half or your mum or your family or whoever? No. We can always spin it around. <laughs> I mean, I can scare the owner. <laughs> Do it once round because it's. Uh... No, I've got time already. Man. So yeah, once we um... also got um, well, this car doesn't have drift mode, but it definitely feels very much more rear biased than mine. Bear in mind, I obviously know how my car drives because I've done it so much. But if I slow it down a little bit, so 20 to 60, right? Three, two, one. Let's go down it again now. I mean, you don't really need any more power in my mind. I think a lot of people do compare this car to the RS3. For me, the RS3's competitor is the A45S, a car that you will actually see on the channel soon, so that's really cool. Because um, <laughs> an owner, you know, I have managed to get in contact with an owner, so that's cool. Oh, loads of content to come, so that's great. 
Well, let me know when you get them and I'll meet you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all get together. I don't know what this Peugeot driver's doing. Um, I'm absolutely petrified. What should we do? What's he doing? There's no OP. You have to tell him with that. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Thank you so much for the drive. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video and found it useful. I think the best thing that I can say comparing a Mark 7 to a Mark 8, um, you know, you can do all the fancy shots in the world, you can do all the drives in the world, but I mean, the best thing I can say is they're both really, really great cars. This car actually feels more comfortable um, and easier to get up to speed than mine. And I think that's probably just because of mine's in the manual. Um, yeah. I'll, I'll talk a little bit about mine as well, but um, you know, thank you so much to the owner. Yeah, no and if you're looking to get this car, get it. Plenty powerful enough, comfortable enough, good every day. I mean, you can't find one on Auto Trader for less than list, um, so a pretty good investment if you can call it that. And um, yeah, I think um, it's a special, special car. We're in an age now, 2022. It's not going to get any better. It's as simple as that. This is kind of it. I love hot hatches which can kind of take on the supercars you can probably see from my face it's smiling the whole way it's absolutely brilliant and um, i hope you've enjoyed it too let me know your thoughts in the comments and do give this video a like and like subscribe to the channel it just really does help me produce more content and um yeah hopefully you guys enjoy it because there's plenty more to come let me just check that out it's so so nice look at these potholes this is the world that we live in now i'm gonna try and go over here so it's a Mark 8 Golf R, looking pretty sick. 